features that come as part of iPhone 3.0. There are so many more. I want to touch on a few of these because they're important. Uh, note sync. If you take notes on your iPhone, they'll now synchronize with your Mac or your PC using iTunes. Uh, shake to shuffle. We're taking a popular feature of the Nano and bringing it to the iPhone and iPod Touch. Wi-Fi auto login. This allows you to automatically log into your favorite Wi-Fi hotspot. So for instance, if you have an account at Starbucks for their Wi-Fi hotspots, when you go in, it'll automatically connect you to that Wi-Fi hotspot, and you can use it. And when you leave, it'll automatically disconnect. Stereo Bluetooth. We're adding support for the A2DP profile of Bluetooth, so you can now use your stereo Bluetooth headphones and your stereo Bluetooth speakers. There's some nice additions to Safari, anti-phishing to help protect you against scams on the internet, and autofill. So it'll remember your names and passwords for the favorite websites you go to, making it easy to log in. Parental controls. We're extending parental controls to include TV shows, movies, and even applications from the App Store. Languages. We have greatly enhanced the language support by adding support for more languages and really improving the keyboards for languages around the world. And YouTube. You can now log in to your YouTube account, which allows you to share your favorites between your iPhone, your desktop, and even Apple TV. And you can also subscribe to your friends' YouTube channels right on your iPhone. So iPhone 3.0. We are so excited about this. There are incredible features for developers and for our customers. Just quickly, let me recap the, high, the big ones. In-app purchase, a new purchase model enabling things like subscriptions and additional game levels. Peer-to-peer -peer connectivity, enabling peer-to-peer -peer games and other peer-to-peer -peer apps. Accessories, now you can write custom applications that talk directly to your accessory. Maps a built-in map control that you can embed in your application. Push notifications, a generic push notification service for all developers. Cut, copy, and paste, and undo. Landscape, and that landscape keyboard taken to all of our key applications. Messages, now support for MMS. A new application, voice memos for recording audio files. Calendar, now a support for CalDAV and subscriptions. Some nice enhancements to the stock application. Search across all the key applications and Spotlight, a single location on the home screen to search across your phone. And these are only a few of the more than 100 new features and more than 1,000 new APIs that make up iPhone OS 3.0. We're really excited about this. It is a major update to the operating system. And I can't wait until you get your hands on it. And to tell you how you're going to do that, I'd like to turn it back over to Jaws. Thanks. So we hope you're as excited about this release as we are. And of course, how are you going to get it? How are we going to make it available? Well, we're going to first make it available as a developer beta. And the good news is we're going to make that beta available today. Further good news, it's going to be available to everyone in our iPhone developer program. And even if you haven't joined the program yet, there's still time, because if you join during the beta program, we'll give you access to that beta as well. And starting today, we'll have all kinds of information available on our developer website to make sure you get the most out of your iPhone OS 3.0 development. Much more technical information on everything that Scott showed you today and you saw some developers already taking advantage of. And we'll be hosting developer forums so you can help each other with your development as issues arise and you figure out how to, again, make the most out of iPhone OS 3.0 development. And we've designed iPhone OS 3.0 to be compatible with the thousands and thousands of apps that are on the App Store. But like any major release, you should test that as developers. And with the beta being available today, you should start your testing now. Now, I mentioned that the 
iPhone was available in 80 countries around the world. Well, the App Store has been available in 62 of those countries. We're also announcing that we're adding 15 more countries to the list. So the App Store will now be available in 77 countries around the world. Again, further increasing the audience for which you can sell your apps. Now, to take advantage of those additional countries, as well as, again, getting more information on everything we talked about today, we encourage all developers to go to developer.apple.com. But how about the rest of us? You know that iPhone OS 3.0 is going to be a great customer release when it's available. And we're going to ship it this summer. And we're going to ship it as a customer update, software update, free to all of our iPhone 3G customers. And as a special bonus, we've even enabled it to work on the original iPhones. Now, the hardware has changed enough between these two devices that not all the features will be available on the original iPhone. For instance, MMS and stereo Bluetooth will not be available on the original iPhone. But the vast majority of features will. So again, a free update for iPhone customers. We're also making it available as a software update for all our iPod Touch customers, and as both generations. And as you know, we charge for significant updates for the iPod Touch, but I think you'd agree at $9.95 for $10 that it's a, it's a great value for all that new capability. So that's iPhone OS 3.0. Over 1,000 new APIs for developers. Over 100 new features for customers. And that developer beta available today and shipping for the rest of us this summer. So Scott and I would like to thank you all for showing up, spending your morning with us. We really look forward to the amazing things the developers are going to do with this release to excite our customers this summer. So thank you very much.